All right, so the function h is differentiable, and for all values of x, h of x equals h of the quantity 2 minus x, which of the following statements must be true. So I don't really know very much about h yet, but I do know that it would be easy to differentiate, and I see that two of the possible answers involve uh, h prime of x. So I'm going to start there, and I'm going to see which of those I can prove or disprove, and then I'll deal with the integral if I have to, but it's going to be really hard to integrate this not knowing a little bit more about uh, h, right? So h prime of x should be h prime of the stuff inside it times the derivative of the stuff, which means there'll be a negative 1. So let's look at this guy first. Let's see if we can find h prime of 1. Let's work on number 2. h prime of 1 would be h prime of 2 minus 1 times a negative 1 which means h prime of 1 is a negative h prime of 1. Well, that's the same quantity, whatever h prime of 1 is, so I can move them to one side and get 2 h prime of 1 equals 0, so h prime of 1 has to be 0. So 2 is definitely true, which means I can cross off 1 only, I can cross off 3 only, right? Um, I'm going to argue that since it was pretty easy to start with that one, I can probably do the same thing with 3. I can probably look at 3 and plug in a number. So if I plug in x is 0 here, right, I'm going to get h of 0, equals h of 2 minus 0 times a negative 1, right? I'm plugging into this formula that I just made. So I get that h of 0 is the opposite of h of 2. Well, that's not what this says. This says h of 0 equals h of 2, and that's not true. So 3 is false. That means I can cross us anybody that involves 3, and I never even have to bother to look at what 1 says, because the only option is b2 only, right? Uh, so you don't always have to look at every possible answer. Sometimes it's easier to start with the easiest things, the things that have concrete numbers plugged in that you can evaluate and then work from there.